Hey, happy new year, you bastards. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Hey, welcome to the Cowboy Seabop Show, everybody. If it's your first time here, welcome. And don't forget to hit the sub button. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, tell me why. You know, leave a comment. Check out, um, you know, some of my subscribers that, you know, we, we definitely share some great correspondence. You are at the right place, all right? If you guys like talking knives or whatever, right? I love my movies. I love my music. And uh, family first and foremost. So, you know what? I've said it before and I'll say it again. This isn't just a knife channel. It's a life channel. So anyway, welcome. Now, for all the people that know me well, you know I love my movie knives. Um, Rambo, Expendables, etc., etc. And probably one of my favorites is the Aldo Rain and Glorious Bastards Bowie Knife. Got some history I'd like to talk to you about. Now, I have made videos in the past reason why we're here today is because I got a new edition, all right? And I'm going to leave you the link of where you can get this. And if you don't want this, I'm telling you, still click the link. And if you have a custom knife in mind, all right, look no further, all right? Claudia will take good care of you. Okay, so let's talk about my little unglorious bastard, you know, since 2000. Nine, I saw this movie, and I'm like, what is Brad Pitt carrying? Look at the back of the DVD. You can see him right up in here. Oh, I hope you guys are picking that up. I searched high and low for years. All I wanted was a replica. What's the deal? Uh, so I couldn't find one. So I did look up some history, and it turns out, and I'm getting this from people that work in the film industry, all right? My good friend, he works in the uh, makeup department. Anyway, and he's worked for Quentin Tarantino. They used the Smith & Wesson Texas Hold'em Bowie Knife, all right? I do believe there's another name for this, too. I can't think off the top of my head. Anyway, it's got the 10-inch blade, and I, I really didn't know that per se. So I had a guy out in Washington State custom make me one back in like uh, 2012, 13. And he came up with this. So this has been one of my favorite, favorite knives in my collection. He used elk antler. He even has the star carved at the, uh, the butt. Um, the brass S guard. This is made of that 5160 steel. This thing is a beast. I have used this time and time again, but have retired it a few years ago because I just don't want to cause any more damage to it. It's a collector's piece. All right, can't find this anywhere. Now, my brother knows I'm obsessed with the Aldo knife. He found me. I think at a flea market, a Timber Rattler, the bastard. Look at this. This was one of the biggest surprises I have ever received. I mean, I got like 20, 30 Timber Rat knives and I never knew this existed. So even, I mean, good luck finding it. I'm sure Somebody out there was willing to sell one one day. <laughs> but um, I'm still over moon. Kevin, thank you so much. All right. That's the timber rat. Okay. So in 2021, I'm on Etsy and I met a woman named Claudia. Sorry about that. I met a woman named Claudia. And I had an idea to make something called the Bastard 2. You know, I wanted the, like, the idea, the blade to pretty much be the same as what Aldo carried, 
but I changed it to a half guard. Um, you know, stag, stag antler with brass spacers and like a wood handle and a brass half guard. They have laser etched on there, bastard two. I'll do one close up at the end of the video. All right, now this is light. It's more, you know, convenient to use versus this 18 inch beast. So after I received this from Claudia, I had asked her, you know what? He did so good with that. I want a screen accurate Aldo knife. Okay. So I basically took Hollywood's advice. I took the dimensions of the Smith and Wesson. All right. And here we go. We got the 10 inch blade. So they removed the handle, they removed the guard, and they aged it, they scraped off, you know, sanded off any kind of uh, markings on the blade, and they made it look like it was an old used knife. Look at this. Even has the star carved on the bottom. Brass S guard, genuine, uh, I, I don't know if this is elk or, you know, genuine antler. Um, brass pins now okay this this is made by a gentleman out in Pakistan named Mustafa now my experience with D2 steel that's what this is is that you really got to take care of your knives or else they're gonna rust on you so you'd think that I would oil this up you know I don't want to do that. I want this to kind of age naturally, so I'm not messing with it. But don't take my advice on that. You guys want to take care of yours, don't leave it in the sheath, whatever you do. Don't, don't, don't do it. You know, keep it oiled, keep it nice, wrap it in a sock, all right? Don't keep it in the sheath. Me, I'm keeping them in the sheath because, as I said, I want it to age a little bit. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. Could be wrong. If not, I can fix it, all right? Um, we'll see how it goes. As for the sharpness, let's see here. And this just feels so, so, so good. It's like more maneuverable than the big beast. Now, let me do a comparison of that. All right. This was the one I've been fawning over, you know, for the past, you know, eight, nine years. And here is the more screen accurate version on the bottom both still pretty awesome all right as for the sharpness I'm not going to use this knife all right it is pretty sharp it would do the trick if I really needed to you know trust me this thing is solid all right so I'm going to leave you the link all right um, even if you don't want an Aldo knife and you have an idea of a custom that you're thinking, you know, of having built, give Claudia a message, all right? They'll get back to you. Let me tell you, they send me video updates. They send me photo updates. Anything I don't like, I let them know and then they'll fix it and then they'll send me another picture. <sighs> Within a month, this should be on your porch, all right? Business is picking up, maybe a month and two weeks. I don't know, you know how it goes. The more customers, the longer it's gonna be. So, um, you know, give it a whirl. This this uh, guy, Mustafa, you know, I tip my hat to you, brother. Yes, I'm in my pajamas today. We're, we're healing, we're getting over, you know, a nasty cold, still little traces of it. I hope I don't get anybody sick out there. <coughs> anyway, let me give you guys a nice once over, all right? Glorious bastards. If you guys haven't seen it, what are you waiting for? Your life will never be the same again. <laughs> All right, let's do it once over. I need my pajamas. All right, again, on the bottom is the original Smith & Wesson Texas Hold'em. 
You ever see it on eBay? Grab it. There's my custom right above it from Washington State. Had that since uh, 2012. There's the Timber Rat, the Bastard. I forget what the TR number is, but if you ask me, I'll, I'll let you know. I gotta look it up. And then there's my Bastard 2. And the Aldo, the original bastard. All right, everybody stay safe, stay well, and um, I'll see you again real soon. All right, give that a screenshot, will you? Take care. Again, have a safe and happy new year.